On this edition of Jan Scott Tonight, you pick your favorite restaurants for 1998. Coming up next, it's Jan Scott Tonight. Es el destino que me lleva hasta el final Donde algún día mi amor te encontrará Ay, amor You know, in our coverage of uh, this year's Mexican restaurant show, we're finding out a lot of, uh, a lot of different things. And Scott digging into our wet burrito. Do you mind? <laughs> oh, my God. Chicken. I had to put up with the show for the past three hours here at Wanda. Just like tortured me. Chicken. Oh my god. This is so good. Let's try the Hawaiian food. Mm. The Bible? That's steak teriyaki. That is really good. Is it? That one? Yeah, you know, this one is really good. Oh, wait a minute. What's this one? That's the Baja roll. That's the chicken with the spinach cream cheese and salsa. That you'll love. Appetizer. I love my job. I'm taking over. Huh? I'm taking your job over. If you could eat all day, I'm here. Stop shaking the camera. I'm looking. Huh? I was just looking at things. See it first time. Tell the truth. If it sucks, you have to tell me. No way. It doesn't suck. It's good. She needs more eating of it. This is great. Hi, Bart. These roll, they're very good. They come chow boiled and blackened. They don't have a very fishy taste. You can get them in anything you want here. Um, it's healthy. Is it, are they big in Mexico? Are they big in Mexico? I really don't think they're big anywhere yet. I think this is a new concept that's going to go, that is going to go far. Uh, but once you try it, it seems gross at first. You're like fish tacos, sick. <laughs> but once you try them, everybody likes them. Everybody comes back. So I think okay, it's okay. definitely good. What's up? What kind of fish is it? It's wahoo and mahi mahi is what we use. So wahoo is actually a fish, you're which you can get a lot in Hawaii. Really? Mm -hmm. A computer? Yeah. No. A computer company. Wahoo. That's no. That's Yahoo. Whoa. Wahoo. Oh. The Wahoo and the Yahoo fish. Wahoo fish. Yeah. We don't wahoo. have Yahoo. We have wa it's Wahoo. Wahoo. Talk about that. Okay. So our fish is Wahoo fish, and we also use mahi mahi. But Wahoo is found off the coast of Hawaii, and it's non-fishy tasting. It's very healthy for. to see our hand-painted tiles. No! <laughs> see, check out our tiles. It's Those the are, woman's room! These were handmade. Oh yeah, these are really exceptional. <laughs> okay, enough. <laughs> <laughs> Get out! <laughs> but they're really actually cool. I mean, they're hand- <laughs> You're gonna put that Scott into the woman's room. To see our hand-painted tiles. Oh. I'm going to get you being a You know, well, this is what they want me to do. Yeah, they want you to crawl around in your knees and bark like a dog. Go ahead. No. He wants <laughs> okay. me to go like I'm surfing. Good. Okay, my so I'm surfing. Yeah, you're surfing. Surfing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Here, take this. No drinking and surfing. <laughs> the line of interesting people. Are you a vice president? I'm the VP. <laughs> Well, what are you guys eating? Uh, Hi. 
good black and fish tacos. What is it? Fish tacos? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> a Maui ball. Yeah. Okay. What's that one right there? For me? Yeah. Okay. This is our number six mahi bowl. It's teriyaki steak with rice, beans, and salsa with a side of teriyaki. It's amazingly great. It's, it's healthy for you. It's I'm starting over! No, every mistake you make is going up. Going no, it's not. Go on. Okay. <laughs> Get back to the Baja rolls. Okay. Fresh spinach leaf rolled in the tortilla, warmed on the grill, chopped up similar to spring rolls with a side of salsa. They are amazingly healthy. Everything here at Wahoo's is healthy. Um, this one? This, this dish. This is our wet burrito, which you can get either a bonsai burrito, which comes with vegetables, or a traditional burrito, which comes with cheese, lettuce, and your choice of meat. You can get it with fish, steak, chicken, or vegetarian. It also comes with a side of rice and beans, salsa, and lettuce, batter. We have chicken tacos with lettuce, and then we have our blackened fish taco with cabbage. And rice and beans on the, what, tacos, and a rice and bean. This is our number two platter. Okay. This is our Wahoo salad, which comes with steak, chicken, or fish. And you also get a free side of low-fat pepper dressing or ranch or oil and vinegar. It is, has guacamole, lettuce, tortilla chips, salsa, and your choice of meat. And we got alcohol. Okay. <laughs> and then we That's have... The big part. So, okay, sit down there. A former graduate, no wait, a former student at University of Colorado Boulder. Okay, no. I am Shauna Little, a former graduate from University of Colorado at Boulder. <laughs> Different, but it's true. This is kind of a California place in Boulder, isn't it? Yes, it was started in Southern California, and we have now three in Colorado, and we're going to double it by the end of the year, so it's, it's definitely taken off, and the public likes us and enjoys our food, and are you from California? Is there anybody from California? He's from California. I, yeah, I knew he was from California. I didn't even have to ask him. Southern California? Where Wahoos are? And you eat there? <laughs> yeah, there we go. We've been, Moss has been here for four and a half years. Uh, we started, we took over um, a restaurant that was kind of a bistro and we changed the concept because we felt that the neighborhood here needed, you know, something that was affordable, quick and fast, especially for lunch with the, the hospital by us and Kaiser. That sets us above our competitors. We don't bring anything frozen and we you know we like I said we roast our peppers and we make our own corn tortillas and you know all the beans are soaked and cooked here on premise and we're really proud of that and I think that's what sets us above you know I I'm real happy with it okay and, and I'm the owner and manager of Masa Grill and we have been open for four and a half years now <laughs> enjoy cooking and my love is cooking so when we decided to go ahead and try to do something on our own down here this was a great concept and we wanted to jump in but when we did it we decided we wanted to set ourselves above the others by doing everything fresh You know, I do support them, and then I'm here, and I do. I love our customers. It's a
little bit. Tonight is our Monday night taco night. And this is Masa's, Masa Grill's veggie burrito. And this is really popular, being in Boulder, a lot of vegetarians here. Everything that we make um, is vegetarian, except for, of course, the meat itself. And so we do get a lot of people who are in those kind of diets eating here. Um, as black beans, um, we don't use any fats in our beans at all. We do have pinto beans available. And there's fresh vegetables, zucchini, summer squash, peppers and onions are an option with a, a cilantro lime rice in the burrito. I can't just wait a minute. <laughs> everything's vegetarian except, except for the meat. I know. The meat. So the meat. The story. <laughs> well, vegetarian cows, right? Exactly. That's what we have. <laughs> well, we try to provide something that you know a lot of our customers ask for, and we do have a lot of people coming to the masa that do want vegetarian fare, and so we. <laughs> do. Also, which is also on the fish tacos, is made with fresh roasted corn and everything we do, we roast our own peppers here and corn and that type of thing, so it's very good. The next dish over there, that's a masa's uh, chicken tostada, and that's nice because it's not quite as heavy as a burrito, but people enjoy it because it's on a plate and it comes, I guess, with a side of rice and, again, we have different choices. You can get chicken, chorizo, steak, veggie. We have shrimp, and so that's just your basic tostada. That one is with the chicken. And the salsa on that one is just our mild salsa, which is a pico de gallo or salsa fresca. Just fresh tomato, fresh jalapeno, fresh lime. It's very good. It's in the middle, and that we make with a fire-roasted tomato. It has some jalapeno in it. And we do our own chips here, so we fry our own chips, and that's really a, kind of a tasty accompaniment. You, you make your own chips? Well, we fry our own chips. We do get our corn tortillas in fresh, and then we ch cut them and, and fry them. And so it's a nice tri mix of blue corn, red corn, a chili corn, and then the regular yellow corn. I don't corn. think I know anybody that does that. Do I? Just who else does that? Not that I, I'm. Not that I know of. I mean, we, we like to keep everything fresh as possible, so we make our chips every day. And that's nice. It's really good. We make our own corn tortillas, which not a lot of people do not do. These are all made from scratch, hand-rolled, hand-pressed in our little tortilla press. And the fish tacos are excellent. They're marinated in fresh lime and cilantro, and then we blacken it. And that's become very popular. I used to have it as a special just twice a week and my customers were like, you have to have it every day. And so now we do our fish tacos every day. And that one has the fresh, again, the medium corn salsa, which is very popular here. You gotta keep one of these. Yeah, the lime tequila, triple sec. And that's on the rocks. And then we also have a strawberry one in the back. So we do have frozen margaritas and they come with strawberry, mango. We have a pineapple, a peach. And so those are kind of fun to have with your meal. And again, they're made with just fresh lime. A lot of people use li limes, you know, roses, lime juice, or any other mix, but we just stay with the fresh lime juice, and so they're very good. You want to talk about? Yeah. Oh, we, the birds and birds. Yeah. Well, that's. Right now, all we have to do is blow, but it's really good. A lot of our decorations are right from Mexico, um, almost all of them are, and um, that's one of the things that I've picked up along the way just to throw around the restaurant. It's really a neat thing, and it's an offering type what's statue. The, what's the, because we do. Mas, mas ball, right, exactly. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, no. we do make our own corn tortillas, as you saw in the fish yeah. tacos. And Everything again is made from scratch. Our the these cookies, the chocolate coconut cookies, which we call our Yucatan chocolate chip cookie, is really popular and actually has been in the paper and the Daily Camera the recipe because uh, you know customers requests and so really? yeah, it's really pretty popular thing. People
go. You guys doing all right with your drinks? Yep. Nice. What's uh, going on? It's time we win, eh? We win. Good. What is going on? How are you doing? Just doing a TV show. Yeah, doing a TV oh, yeah, show. Yeah, we're yeah. 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 Mexican food. Qué bueno está los huevos rancheros, eh. Oh, you guys are Mexican. No, Mexican now, where are you from? No, no, no. Chimichanga. Chimichangas? Es una chimichanga, eh. Good to see you. Oh, yeah. Ever had it before here? Oh, yeah, I have. Yeah, good? Pretty good, yeah. Where are you from? Spain. You're from Spain? Uh -huh. They don't have chimichangas in Spain. No, we don't have chimichangas in Spain, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we go to Mexico for chimichanga. Hey, what are you having? Alfonso. Okay. He's asking you. What? What? What is it? Well, I'll tell us. Oh, my God, there's eggs in it. It's good. Oh, that won't bug you guys anymore. I'm out of here. Bye. Oh, what are you having? That looks awfully good. Quesadilla. You have to come over closer. What is it? It's, I don't know, flour, no, corn tortilla or flour tortilla with cheese. Yeah. Are you also from Spain? Yeah. Oh. This is unusual. You're not. You're from America. Yes. <laughs> I can tell. I can tell by your haircut. That's a... I don't really like this, sir. What's your name? You know, uh, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not telling Jan you my Scott. name. I don't agree with most of your opinions, but, but it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Don't Jan worry about Scott it. Live. It's kind of like uh, Letterman, Stern, anything. You know. but what, are, who's, what are you guys eating here? Um, we don't know. It's an idea. Non-Republican food. <laughs> <laughs> this would be, this would be our nacho, our liberal nachos. Lib liberal nachos. It's a liberal amount of nachos. <laughs> You're a funny guy. This is a liberal margarita here. You might notice I got half and half. It's called the swirly whirly. What does that mean? It's an extra little part of its raspberry and part of its regular standard margarita. And they swirly whirly it. So it's sort of a blend. A domestic blend, you might say. Okay. A good homework You're really thing. You're doing right a good now. job for hating this. You don't mind if we put you on TV, do you? Thank you here, what is that? Those are raspberry margaritas. They're delicious. They're very good. Can you drop? Wanna try? No. Okay. I'm good. I already studied today, so I'm done. <laughs> All right. What are you what are you yeah, ice in there. It's right in there. It's about six at a time. We'll they call an ambulance for you afterwards. Is that the idea? Yeah. Twice a week around here, they call an ambulance. Um, keeps the dosakis cold. Nice. But you see, the deal is, you're supposed to be in Mexico in Boulder. And so now you're in Mexico. <laughs> Jesus, you think this is like the middle of winter in Boulder, huh? Let's go. It wasn't for the winters. It's the food. Okay. Well, that's our best Mexican restaurant show here in Boulder and Denver at La Iguana. It's the middle of winter. It's 80 degrees out. It's Boulder. You missed it.
with a side of beans and a side of tortillas. This is very authentic. In Mexico, they make it out of steak and pork and chicken. Um, it's my favorite. I eat them many times a week, and I love them. Yeah, very good stuff. Um, this is our, we won actually, we won a Westport Award for this. This is our chili relleno. These are authentic rellenos with an egg batter. If you look inside, then you'll see that it has an authentic egg batter made to order. Um, they're very good. I love them too. I have. I don't. I try to cut down on them because they're kind of cheesy, but they are excellent. And for the uh, Tex-Mex lover in there, uh, we we serve things like tacos, and we have burritos as well. This is a. This is just your standard taco. It's got cheese and some nice steak, some sirloin tip in there. Um, everything we make, we make with vegetable oil or olive oil, and uh, it's all pretty pretty nice stuff. Uh, we make our own salsas and chips. Everything here is uh, made daily. We don't make, uh, we don't have anything out of a can. So, pretty proud of it. And uh, I love tequila, what can I say? <laughs> this is the world's only single barrel tequila. Uh, it's aged about six or seven years. Um, and it is single barrel, meaning it's all, so this whole bottle came from the same barrel. We took a hundred dollar, hundred dollar bottle of tequila. Yeah, you can find it at Liquor Mart actually on sale for around eighty sometimes. What's it and, called? Uh, it's Port Video. It's the Port Video single barrel. Um, most tequila aficionados will recognize it. Really. Look at that cactus in the bottom. Yeah, it's it's excellent. It's a great margarita too. Jesus has been here for eight years. It uh, belongs to me, my brother, and my mother. Uh, she lives in Mexico, though, so she's rarely here. Um, she's the artist who does the paintings, and she is the chef who came up with all our recipes. And uh, she's a um, uh -huh. she's a great lady. She's a very strong lady, and uh, she definitely keeps us in line. And uh, Usually we have a nice older crowd in here until about 10 o'clock and then the college kids come out and come party with us and we show lots of like snowboarding videos and motocross videos and stuff like that all the time. So uh, that's pretty much our philosophy. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of work but it's worth it. It's good stuff. Thank you. <laughs> no, <laughs> Here at Mama Sita's, the year 2000, it's our third visit. One of the best Mexican restaurants in Boulder, authentic. We visit La Estrellita here in Boulder uh, with John Montoya, the Montoya family, and this family owned chain and salsas on our Mexican Restaurants 2000. Um, my name is John Montoya. I'm, I'm uh, the father of the uh, Montoya family. Me and my kids are involved in three restaurants and a bottling company, and we do uh, salsa demos and salsa. All over the uh, all over the state. Uh, S3, the restaurant means little star, the little star. That was uh, the name was brought up my mom and dad. They had a restaurant in Fort Lupton uh, from 1953 to 1967, and I chose to go into the computer field business. And in 1986, I decided that we will get we would get back into the restaurant business with my kids. Um, 
So we started with my two older sons, and in 1988 we opened the restaurant in Boulder, and 1993 we opened our Westminster restaurant. Uh, How so many stores do you have there? Within Wadsworth. And, um, and since then, um, we've done real well. We were family operation, huh? It was a family operation, and what really kicked it off is we were selected one of the top 50 Hispanic restaurants in the United States, and there was only two out of Colorado, and we were one of them. We have been uh, featured on uh, uh, Good Afternoon Colorado with our vegetarian green chili, and we've, uh, we've received several awards and cook-offs. Uh, just about every cook-off we've ever been in, one of our salsas or our green chili has, has won one kind of award or another. Uh, I will challenge anybody to, to our green chili and our salsas. All right. Three types of fajitas, the sirloin strip and chicken fajitas and shrimp fajitas. And our fajitas are to kill for. They are the best fajitas. So, uh, our, our beef fajitas, and it's, uh, they're uh, marinated the day before yeah, with our special marinated sauce. And then uh, they're uh, garnished with uh, bell peppers, onions, and tomatoes. And on the side dishes, uh, we have uh, guacamole, sour cream, refried beans, pico de gallo, and a little uh, lettuce and, and cheese. They come with three tortillas, and I'll tell you, you walk out of here, you walk out. This is probably our, our second selling uh, uh, combination plate, which is a, a bean burrito, a, a taco, and a tostada. And it's also garnished with uh, lettuce and tomato and cheese. Mm -hmm. And our best combination plate is, uh, is a number four which has a burrito, a rieno, and a, and an enchilada. And rieno, rieno is a, is a, can come either battered or uh, with egg batter, and it's smothered in our, in our uh, award-winning green chili, or it can come as a egg roll uh, wrap. And then in the middle is a bean burrito uh, with, a, with a tortilla wrap, and then we have a, on the far end is the enchilada, and that is uh, with our, our famous enchilada sauce, which will soon be on the market also. Uh, and then that is with the uh, onion and, and cheese. Let's talk about... Uh, we have probably 30 different margaritas. Uh, what we have here is a blue margarita and a, and a pink Cadillac margarita. The pink Cadillac margarita is, is top of the line, shelf top, uh, the best of everything. Next one, tell me. Okay. Um, our vegetarian green chili is, uh, is unique. It, it is so tasty. It's something that goes over burritos, rianos, enchiladas, tamales, eggs in the morning. You can just about use it with anything. Uh, it's a chain. It salsa is our table salsa, and that comes in hot, medium, and mild also. And the next product we have is the jalapeno salsa, and we call that our green salsa. Normally for carnitas, but uh, it, is, it is good with anything. I use that over eggs in the morning. I even use it in spaghetti sauce. Oops. I like um, I like the burritos. Burritos, yeah. They're smothered. Yeah. They're really good. Uh -huh. They're big too. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> Riva. That's Alberto. That's Alberto. Riva. Hey, Austin. Alberto is the chef. Okay, right Hey, come on, stop. Hey, not bad. Okay.
This is one of the most famous Mexican restaurants here in Denver. Um, it's truly an honor that you, you know, invited us to come into your establishment. You have seven restaurants. Yes, yes, we do, and thank, uh, thank you for coming. Oh yeah. Tell us about you. You and your dad started this whole whole operation. Well, actually, it's more of a family venture. In 1970, uh, my father, mother, and aunt, mm -hmm. and myself got involved with what was the uh, Armadillo Club at that time. More of a dance hall. Uh, pool hall, and we started serving burritos, tacos, and tostadas. There was a lot of uh, demand for it at that time, yeah. and we gradually, in a couple of years, moved on to a full restaurant operation. But you got to have happy customers if you have seven restaurants, right? Well, we have uh, a lot of customers that seem to be happy. I was just visiting with some a minute ago who said they've been coming to us since 1975, and they've always been pleased. So luckily, we have enough of those. In fact, we're going to talk with some of the customers here at the Armadillo and find out what they think, so we just give it to you straight. We don't edit anything on this show. So what are some of the specialties at the Armadillo, and what should you know? What are we going to look at tonight? What kind of food are we going to do? Well, looking, looking at it from the public viewpoint, I would assume that the Burrito Supreme, the burrito supreme Supreme is probably our best seller because yeah. uh, it are the numbers of its sales certainly indicate that it's the most popular thing. Mm -hmm. uh, we created in the early 70s a dish called a Mexican turnover. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a deep fried pastry filled with different types of meats and that's very popular and keeping up with what's popular in yeah. the state. Fajitas uh, got Fajitas, become, yeah. became very popular oh, really? in the 80s and we have a nice dish of those which we'll, you'll Good. be able to see later. Uh, sopapillas seem to go very sopapilla, well yeah. here. The honey sopapilla for dessert is um, very popular. We, uh, this year we, we introduced um, a Kahlua mud pie. Kahlua which, mud pie. Which seems to be doing well. Don't eat that and drive. And then the traditional, the traditional flan. Yes. Flan. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm Jesse. I'm Lacey. I'm Adeen. And I'm Sarah. And, and we're, we're the Girl, Girl Critics on Jan Scott tonight. Okay, Louie, what are the dishes that we have before the girls now? What are we going to eat tonight? What are uh, we looking at? Here we have a sampling of the Burrito Supreme. Which burrito is, uh, Supreme. Which is most popular. Mm -hmm. uh, and What's in the Burrito Supreme? We have beef and beans mm -hmm. and then the, the famous green chili, so to speak. Okay. And it comes top the avocado, sour cream, lettuce, tomato. Oh, good. Uh, another big seller at the at the other end here is mm -hmm. the chicken and mm -hmm. beef fajitas. Chicken and beef fajitas. Can you get a shot of that? Oh, that looks good. And they right. come with this setup here. Oh, and close Pretty. the combination with tortillas. Well, folks, we leave you now as we leave the Armadillo restaurant with the uh, girl critics here on Jan Scott tonight. Lily, it. thanks Bye. so much for having us come by. Thank you. Visit with you, hasta la Winnebago. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, yeah. What's your favorite dish? Uh, smothered burrito. Smothered burrito. Mm -hmm. And do you have like favorite dishes? Um, not really. Just everything. <laughs> Anything Mexican. Do you have a favorite Mexican uh, restaurant? Um, this place. This place. Mm -hmm. And uh, where are we? El Noa Noa. You come here very much. Um, actually, quite a bit because I work across the street. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> good. How about you? Do you have a favorite dish? Oh, <laughs> smothered burrito. Smothered burrito? Mm -hmm. Okay, any other favorites? Um, Chalarano. Chalarano. And uh, let me see here. Oh, what are you eating today? <laughs> smothered burrito. <laughs> smothered burrito. Mm -hmm. Okay, and do you have a favorite Mexican restaurant? Uh, this place. This place. Mm -hmm. El Noa Noa. <laughs> this looks good. What are you making now? Uh, naked chicken fajita. This must be popular with CU students. Anything naked. Anything naked. <laughs> right about that. <laughs> because. Oh,
here in Boulder opened up in November of 1998 and um, has just been going strong ever since. People to college students, everybody seems to really like our food. Nachos, one of my personal favorites with queso sauce. It's got black beans, steak, um, our fresh pico de gallo salsa, and sour cream on top. Um, right here we have our tacos. It is hard shell corn tacos with ground beef on the uh, ground sirloin on the inside. Um, then it's topped with lettuce, pico de gallo, and cheese. I don't, this is one of my personal favorites. Women really like the naked burritos because they're not as filling as regular burritos um, because it doesn't have the tortilla with it. So th those go over very well. It's all the good stuff, all the insides of a burrito. With Fresh corn salsa, um, peppers and cheese on top and it's really good and perfectly filling. And then here is the big kahuna. This is our, what we're famous for is our big burritos. They're a pound and a quarter. <laughs> go through the line and it's quick. It's easy, ready to go. You can dine in or carry out. Oh yeah. Mm. Need to go. When I'm on campus, I grab it and take it with me. It's nice. What's not better than Taco Bell? Sir? Better than Taco Bell by far. <laughs> A lot healthier, fresher. Um, I think it hands down beats Taco Bell. There's no competition. You don't have a dog. Or no, <laughs> we definitely don't want the dog. <laughs> you stupid dog. Right? I, mean, I hate that dog. <laughs> right? I agree. <laughs> All right. <so>. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I hate the dog from Taco Bell. Everybody comes to the restaurants to see me, not the Yo Quiero Taco Bell dog. So I hate the dog. There's hands down no competition between me and the dog. She's not going to get because I'm going to eat it. Here are our best uh, Mexican restaurants 2000. Qdoba, Boulder. Uh, let's see how it tastes. We're waiting for our food here at uh, Noah Noah with Carmen, who's the uh, general manager. She runs it. Her dad, dad still works here. Mom still works here. Yeah, of course, the whole family. Let's talk about this one. This okay. is what now? This is a uh, carne asada, mm -hmm. which is a steak grilled on our uh, grill. You, you tell us each each part of this. Let's look at okay, it. Okay, we have pico de gallo, mm -hmm. which is a little bit of a salsa, make it hotter. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, slices of avocado. Mm -hmm. You could eat that too. We got a, a chili, hot chili right there. Oh, jalapeno. look at this hot chili. Do you think I could pick this up and just bite into it? Sure, uh, it's nice and hot. Is it? Oh, it. maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> And then we got a little bit of onions here, grilled mm -hmm. onions. Oh, look at this. I have to, I have to try this. This, so. this is very, very good. This is the steak here. Look at this. Can I just set this here? I, I can cut it with this. Yeah. Will it cut? And your steak. Yes, yep. they're nice and tender. These are very good. Everyone's running. It's okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now, mmm. Very good. Good, huh? Mm. Okay, this here we go. This is my mother, Hortensia Medina. Hi, Hortensia, Jan Scott. Thank you very much for inviting us here. This is my father, Raul Medina. Raul, Raul. number five. I have to try this. Can I? So we're two, on television. Two, I can please. dig in. Combination. What's on combination okay. number five? This is a tamale. This is. I have to try the tamale. And they're homemade tamales. Look at made homemade there. tamales. Yes, with mm -hmm. the green chili on top. Mm-hmm. With green chili. Didn't run out of green chili this year. Oh no. <laughs> Mmm, very good. Okay. 
Okay. Are these ch is that chili rellenos? Yes, this is a chili relleno. I have to try this. Here too, also. I have to try the chili rellenos. Okay. Well, there goes my diet. <laughs> no more diet. Oh, look at these. Can you look at the. Look, what's in the center of the chili rellenos? We have Monterey Jack cheese. Very beautiful. Right. Original recipe mm -hmm. from Mexico. Very good. Wow, that's really hey. good. Tacos al carbón, mm -hmm. which is grilled steak also, cut up in oh little pieces God. with its onions and tomato. Oh, yes. Let me and to, I, have to, I have to try. Where's the honey? Try it right here. Okay, honey. with the honey on one. Just stop. Uh, mm -hmm. Look at this. Oh, this is good. Like that? Yes. And then, uh, do I just, do you think I just bite into it like yes, this? Yes, exactly. Mm. Oh my God, this is really good. <laughs> Tell me about the history, how long has it been here, how long has El Noa Noa been here? We've been here already for 17 years. Mm -hmm. We started out as a little Mexican restaurant, so maybe five, six tables. In the very, in this same place right in here? In this same place, oh yes. Oh my god. Yes, and uh, we had a, as you can see the patio now, yeah. uh, we had to knock down some buildings here, uh, two houses over here, and we extended this way and to the other way, which is our dining room. And now the restaurant was started by your mom and dad? Yes. Is that right? Who are? Uh, Raul Medina and Hortensia Medina. Raul Medina. And how do you, how do you pronounce your mom's name? Hortensia. Hortensia. And you're really Leticia Carmen Medina. Yes. Hi. What a great name. Thank you.